What is going on guys? It's your boy Big Dylan and welcome back to some more Destiny 1. Now I thought it would be pretty cool since the last video I did on Destiny 1 of me soloing the Nightfall. I thought it would actually be really cool and just for nostalgia purposes to visit Zer in Destiny 1 and just compare his loot and his inventory compared to what we do now have in Destiny 2. Now this week Zer is located in the tower somewhere, like indicated by this symbol here. As soon as you see this symbol, you know he is in the tower. There is another destination that he can spawn in as well, called the Reef. But again, what we'll have to do is try and find him. I'm not really too sure where he would be. But the most simple thing to do off a of spawn is just run straight forward. He has two places where he can spawn down here. There's usually one over there, but obviously he's not there this week. And one just in the Vanguard room, just over there. He is also not there either, so... I'm gonna have to go and try. I'm guessing it's gonna be over this side of the map, considering there's a couple of people over there. There's no people on the other side. Yeah, so we'll take a gamble, we'll go this way. I'm assuming he is on this side because if people are over here with the three little dots, it usually indicates that something is over here. I remember just seeing when I used to play this game, I, used to, I remember just seeing like an absolute mass of people on one end of the tower, you know, just when Zer arrived. So, yeah, so Zer is located here, so let's see what he's got this week. Oh dear. <laughs> you got the material exchanges, heavy ammo sims, three of coins, glass needles, you got the little vehicle upgrades for the sparrows, weapon bundles. So, is this ornaments? Grants the exotic weapon bad juju and the dragon's bane ornament. That's actually really cool. So you get the weapon and an ornament. That's a nice feature. Obviously the exotic gear as well. Obviously the staple of Zer bringing a constant rotation of gear every week. Pretty cool. So the helmet engram. So again, this is actually completely different to Destiny 2. So in Destiny 2, it's just an exotic engram and you buy it and it gives you a random armor piece that you currently own. Whereas in Destiny 1, it's just a fixed engram for a certain armor slot for the, for the week. So this week, it's obviously the helmet engram. And I think, if I remember right, you can buy this as many times as you want. You're not actually limited. So if you have essentially hundreds of strange coins, you can buy as many of these as you as willing, essentially, and just burn all the strange coins. Eternal Warrior for the Titans. Pretty cool. Ashes to Assets as well, dude. It was in D1. Really, really weird to see in half this. Of second thoughts, gain bonus super energy from special weapon kills and minions of the darkness. Really cool just to see half of this stuff and how Twist of Fate. Glass. Oh, dude, I've got a glass needle. Changes the stats and upgrades available on this armor. So again, Glass Needles was a huge thing that I'd love to return in Destiny 2. Frosties for the Hunter, while sprinting, gain a tight, tighter turn radius. And I think you get a grenade and melee ability regeneration while sprinting. Yep. So pretty much the exact same as the version in Destiny 2. The Impossible Machines, these were one of the most frustrating exotics for me to get. These actually launched with the Taken King DLC. I remember doing the first Nightfall when the DLC launched with a couple of good friends of mine. He was also on a Warlock and he actually got them to drop on his first run. It actually took me several weeks of just farming and buying engrams and getting engrams with three of coins and all that sort of stuff to actually get these to drop. Um, I did finally get them in the end and I, again, I absolutely loved them. For the weapon, Cerus Regime, I mean, this thing is just an absolute nostalgia trip for me. I remember this thing being absolutely busted when the game first released. And I mean, it's never really seen the light of day ever since. I mean, it's never really been decent in Destiny 2. It does in Destiny 2, it does have the spinning up perk as well, which is really good. Obviously, it's not as good in Destiny 1. It used to be the focus fire, if I remember correctly, that used to be really OP in this game. But again, I mean, what an iconic weapon. When you think of Destiny 1, I mean, Cerus is just definitely up there with all those. So, I mean, the weapon bundles, again, I mean, how... I mean, the Red Death as well, dude, holy. That was a really good gun in Destiny 1. Um, when it first released, thinking year 1 of D1, Red Death used to be really good. It used to be sort of like the messenger in Destiny 2. It used to be able to two-burst, and then they changed the archetype of the weapon, if I remember correctly and just obviously lowered the impact of it, so then it just never really saw the light of day after that. The vehicle upgrades, these were just to add pretty cool green or red, purple trails, whatever, to your sparrows, nothing really too special. 
Um, you used to, I think you used to add these to blue rarity sparrows and used to change them into legendary versions, which is again a pretty neat feature. Heavy ammo sims, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I remember buying hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these to turn them in for the reputation um, boxes at the factions. I remember farming dead orbit rep for the spaceship and this was one of the ways I actually managed to get it way back when. Three of coins, I'd love to see these return in Destiny 2 as well. Just to be able to pop one of these and go in a strike and obviously you have a chance of when you kill the boss, it'll drop an exotic engram. Glass needles, again, I would love these to return in Destiny 2. So what these used to do, if you had a really bad roll, for example, on your exotic armor piece, so say if I didn't like the stat roll on this, on this Twilight Garrison, I could actually pop a Twist of Fate or whatever it is, glass needles on this, and it would change the stat roll and you could keep doing it over and over and over again until you get the stat roll that you want which was actually really really cool and let's see what else he has so just material exchanges exotic shards and motes of light uh yeah i mean that's pretty much it for Zer on destiny one pretty pretty weird visiting him on this game i actually kind of prefer some of the things he has in this game over destiny 2 i really wish a couple of the things that he sold in this game would come to destiny 2 i just feel like it'd make the experience in Destiny 2 overall a little bit more user friendly just makes it a little bit easier to sort of get certain god rolls and certain things i know uh, yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you had a little bit of a flashback peace